happy Wednesday. Um, I can't even explain the excitement level. We were just given the schedule. I was reading it and I was listening, so I'm, I think this is the order. Today we have the septic guy, the electricians, the plumbers, the audiovisual guy was here. By next Tuesday, the electrical will be done, the, plum, the plumbing will be done, minus a couple of things that they have to get different parts for. The septic, of course, will be done. Um, the audio visual will be done, meaning our sound system. <laughs> Minus the refrigerator and the freezer are coming, I believe, Monday. Um, we're going to get loaners because they got pushed back to January. I believe. We, we ordered them in January and they're not going to be here till January. That's okay. I'm not complaining. Um, the cleaning crew is coming. I thought he said Friday, this Friday. Painter is coming Tuesday, next Tuesday, a week from yesterday to put on one more coat of paint and then He's going to do two coats of sealer and that's it. It's over. Actually, it should rephrase that. It just begins after that. Um, I've chatted with you, a few of you in um, DMs who have been around here since the beginning. And some of you who are new here don't understand why this is just such a huge thing sold our house three years ago. It's been actually three years ago in August, we signed the paperwork. So we have been temporarily living for three years. And if I can tell you anything, if you, if you listen to one thing, make sure that wherever you are living temporarily, you still make it a home. If we would not have done that, if we would not have made that rental our home we would we would both have gone crazy by now um we went into this place knowing this was a temporary we did not know how how long this was going to be and if you are new here um the big c word screwed everything up we were only going to be in that rental for a year and it this is three years and three months <laughs> So that is why it's such this big deal and it feels like this big weight that is finally off of us. Yes, this place is nice. We did not build this place to be a home. We have one closet and that is our um, bedroom closets for our clothes. I said last night um, that I could, could have cried. I had to fight back the tears um, when the lights came on because... We started this in April, I think it was April, the end of April. And when you go out there, it's just dark. There's just no lights. And when those lights came on, it just felt like it was coming to life. That's a little backstory if you didn't know any of that. And I wanna thank you guys so much for being as excited um, about this whole thing. This, if you've been here forever, you've seen all the ups and downs of us um planning this talking about it getting excited getting you know crazy um but i want to thank you and i wanted to let you know that we will be sharing everything from moving to furniture placement to putting things away to getting deb's workshop in order i like i am just as excited about that as i am the house and this is this is a long story and i'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry i'm maybe boring you with all this but if you would only know deb's workshops throughout the years i i can't even begin to tell you how thrilled i am for her it it makes me want to cry 
She has created so many different places as workshops, like small little sheds, the basement of our shop. And the basement of our shop was about maybe just this living area. And it was big for her workshops in the past. She loved it so much. And I will never forget when she was packing up her tools because we were moving out, we were selling the place. She said, I'm just really sad. This is the best workshop that I've ever had and it just makes me really sad. You know what she has now, that's basically what she's had since the shop. But we always say that things happen for a reason. And we have said this many times, if we would have not built this and started with the house, this would probably not be built for a couple of years. So we're just really thrilled. I am so thrilled for her that she gets to move in here. You guys, I, I can't, I know, I know what she does. I just cannot wait to share. You probably didn't know that when you logged on today that it was going to be from Danelle's heart. Um, maybe more than you bargained for, but um, I'm very curious before I get into what's coming up, very curious, have you been here since the house on Winchester? to do something really fun so we put together 12 days of giveaways starting tomorrow and every morning it'll be before noon we will be announcing what that day's giveaway is and i'll just put up a slider all you'll have to do is slide and then we will announce it the next day when we are announcing that day's giveaway the gifts are gonna range from a cozy bundle, everything to be cozy. Um, one day is gonna be a gift card. One day is going to be a something that Deb makes. And one thing is going to be a mystery box. So you'll get all kinds of fun stuff in there. And I think every day is going to be a handwritten card from Deb. Who wouldn't want that? Okay, as you know, we have five grandsons. And I don't know, some of you might have missed it. We have a granddaughter on the way. Woohoo! Um, so shopping for toys can get a little bit pricey. One of the girls gets so many of her um, items for the boys from Zulily. And I have a new post up on debandanelle.com where I rounded up lots of toys. Some of these toys they already have in love. The grandsons actually have these. I highly recommend them because they're fun for us to play with too. <laughs> um, they're magnetic blocks. They're little flat magnetic blocks. Titus makes hotels and builds little structures and puts his little people in there. I also wanted to point out that Zoo Lily's cutoff date to arrive before Christmas is December 19th, but wh whatever has this little gift that is an indication that you will get it by Christmas. Is another set of blocks that are really fun to play with as an adult. Um, they stick together. You can make so many different structures. The kids love them. And this would make an excellent gift. One more that is perfect for kids and adults. This is really fun. This comes with a magnetic pen that they can practice their alphabets with. And these little, the little um, dots that you see in there, like kind of raise and fall. And then the opposite are the um, uppercase letters. Lily's prices are so good. Um, one of the girls gets all of the kids pajamas there. Um, but they have uh, new deals daily. So if you see something today, you may want to grab it because it's only around for a certain amount of time. I'm going to put my link to my post here. Um, I rounded up so many other great gift ideas for kids.
Okay, two things, no, three things. Um, number one, the link for our live that I just posted on the feed was not working, so I'm gonna grab, I'm trying to get another one and I will post it in stories as soon as I find out. Number two, I wanted you to know that Waterdrop was still having their big sale and my code is still active, DND15. Um, they reactivated it for a little bit because there's 50% off and then you can use my code DND15 for 15 more percent off. These would make great stocking stuffers for um, people who need to drink more water, want to drink more water. You just add one of these to your water bottle and you don't have to stir, you don't have to stir it, shake it, anything. It just dissolves. They're so delicious. Great flavors. I'm going to put my link here again, DND15. I've had a lot of people ask for the link on this garland and I will put the link in these stories. Tomorrow, I hope to share, depending on how many people are here, I hope to share how I hung this. It was so simple, damage-free. Our painter is going to be thrilled, but I will link this in these stories. It's so pretty and so realistic. And I believe it's still only $36.